October 8, 2025. Suddenly, the Interstellar Visitor 3i Atlas vanishes behind the glare of the sun. Earth's observatories blinded. NASA and the European Space Agency forced into a total data blackout. Official protocols demand silence. High resolution eyes shut down. Mars orbiters ration their signals and all we're told is it's for spacecraft safety. For 10 days, no one on Earth knows what this object will do. Outbursts, fragmentation, even the sudden end of its journey could pass unseen. But as NASA imposes silence, a global network of independent astronomers races to find workarounds. In Alert 3i slash Atlas disappears behind Sun, today, NASA reveals what happens next. The data void could hide a scientific revelation or bury the evidence forever. What really unfolds while the world is blind? Mission operations teams at NASA and the European Space Agency enter a familiar but unforgiving mode as 3i slash Atlas vanishes behind the sun. The blackout is not a formality. Every high gain antenna Every imaging sensor faces hardwired safety limits. Point a camera too close to the sun, and the detector risks permanent saturation. Pixels flood, amplifiers overload, and a single exposure can cripple an instrument built for a decade of work. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's HiRISE and CRISM, along with Mars Express's KSS, are pulled from comet duty once the solar elongation drops below 30 degrees. At that angle, even stray light from the sun can swamp the signal, leaving only noise and the threat of thermal damage. The official protocols kick in. Observation sequences are locked, last-minute commands uploaded, and the orbiter's computers switch to autonomous mode. Downlink windows shrink as ground stations ration bandwidth, prioritizing spacecraft health packets over science data. Every frame captured during conjunction is stored in onboard memory, queued for transmission only after the sun's glare wanes and safe angles return. Radar and high-resolution imaging from Earth are suspended entirely. Even the largest dishes, Goldstone, Arecibo's successors, are blinded by the geometry unable to separate faint echoes from solar static. The result is a wall of silence, enforced not by secrecy, but by the limits of physics and engineering. For the next 10 days, the only certainty is that no new images or spectra will reach public archives. The waiting begins, and with it, the risk that the most fleeting or dramatic events could pass unrecorded. Bill Gray's name begins to circulate in private astronomy circles as the blackout takes hold. While official observatories power down, Gray's distributed network of amateur astronomers refuses to sit idle. Their approach is simple. Scatter telescopes across latitudes, keep wide-field cameras rolling, and hope for a gap in the glare. Frame stacking becomes the tool of choice aligning hundreds of noisy exposures to pull out faint signatures that would otherwise drown in sunlight. Each participant uploads raw frames to a shared pipeline, where custom scripts sift for motion, filtering out satellites, cosmic rays, and instrument ghosts. Radio telescopes, usually tuned to pulsars or planetary radar, are pressed into service. By monitoring background noise at frequencies where the comet's tail might scatter solar emissions, volunteers hunt for subtle changes. A spike here, a dip there, that could betray the object's passage. Weather satellites, designed to watch Earth, are repurposed for snapshots at the edge of their fields, logging any anomaly that matches the predicted trajectory of 3i slash Atlas. Gray coordinates the chaos, posting daily ephemeris updates and signal thresholds. When a possible detection surfaces, the network reruns the stack, tweaking alignment parameters pixel by pixel. Success is measured in fractions of a magnitude, a faint streak that persists through every permutation. The result? A parallel archive of candidate sightings, 
time-stamped and cross-checked, that stands ready to challenge or confirm whatever the agencies release once the blackout ends. October 19, 2014 As Comet C-2013 A1 Siding Spring hurtled past Mars at 56 kilometers per second. Every orbiter in Martian skies went silent. The blackout, lasting up to seven hours, was not a drill. High Rise, Chrism, Maven, and Mars Express all powered down cameras and spectrometers, bracing for a dust storm that could cripple hardware. The official risk window, mapped to the minute, coincided with the comet's closest approach and the peak probability for high-velocity particles. For those hours, no science images, no spectra, not even health packets from key instruments crossed the void to Earth. Researchers reviewing the aftermath found unmistakable gaps. Siding Springs coma showed rapid fluctuations, outbursts and jetting events that in other comets have been clocked at timescales as short as 15 minutes. Hubble and Neowise had documented similar minute-to-hour spikes in gas and dust production, evidence that the most dramatic changes can unfold and fade between scheduled exposures. With Mars orbiters offline, any such eruption during the blackout vanished without a trace, leaving only indirect hints in pre- and post-event data. Peer-reviewed reports from the Siding Spring campaign now serve as cautionary reading. The consensus? Blackout protocols protected billions in hardware, but at the cost of missing potential fragmentation, sudden brightness surges, or jet formation. Phenomena that could rewrite models of cometary behavior. The lesson is simple. Every observational gap, even just a few hours, risks losing the only record of events that can change the story in a single frame. Autonomous safeguards take over as ground contact fades, leaving spacecraft to run on scripts written weeks in advance. For missions like Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and Mars Express, each observation sequence is loaded into memory, every target and exposure time mapped out to the minute. No real-time commands, no last-second pivots, just a chain of logic that decides when to snap, when to store, and when to stand down. If a sudden outburst or fragmentation flares while the comet is hidden, only those preset triggers can catch it. Solar, orbiter, and stereo, designed to watch the sun itself, operate on a different kind of autonomy. Their onboard software flags any spike in brightness or unexpected motion within the field, tagging frames for priority storage. Time-stamped logs record every exposure, building a silent archive that waits for the next chance to beam data home. If a transient event, say, a jet or a sudden tail kink, crosses their view, it becomes just another file in a growing queue, locked away until the blackout ends. Mission planners hedge their bets with redundancy. They schedule overlapping windows, staggered exposures, and even alternate filters in the hope that at least one frame will catch something out of the ordinary. But autonomy has limits. No algorithm can improvise, and the best-case scenario is a handful of snapshots bracketing the unknown. The real test comes after conjunction, when teams sift through the backlog, searching for evidence that something, anything, happened while the world was blind. Three scenarios begin to circulate among mission teams and independent analysts alike. The first is natural, a sudden spike in outgassing, where solar heating triggers jets of gas and dust, reshaping the tail or even splitting the nucleus. In this case, Post-conjunction images would show a kinked or bifurcated tail, with spectral lines for water, carbon monoxide or cyanide suddenly brightening. The second possibility is a digital mirage, instrument artifacts masquerading as real change. Here, ghost streaks, cosmic ray hits, or calibration errors could produce phantom jets, or shifts in brightness, vanishing when frames are restacked or compared across wavelengths. The third, more speculative, 
hints at artificial influence. A silent thruster pulse, or a faint electromagnetic halo, subtle but persistent, outlasting cosmic noise and aligning with no known cometary process. Each hypothesis demands its own verification ladder, and every candidate anomaly will be measured against these competing templates. First, quick-look frames, uncalibrated but timely, are scheduled to appear within 48 hours of the conjunction's end. These snapshots serve as the initial filter. Any abrupt tail change, sudden fragmentation, or spectral oddity will stand out even before full processing. Archival specialists move fast, downloading fresh releases and stacking them against the last pre-blackout frames, hunting for mismatches in position, brightness, or structure. The raw archive follows, offering every exposure for independent stacking and anomaly checks. Spectral overlays from Mars Express and KSSIS, queued before the blackout, are cross-referenced with predicted lines for water, carbon monoxide, and cyanide. Each candidate event, jet, flare, or digital ghost, must survive this gauntlet, matching both orbital predictions and anomaly logs before any claim holds. The verification path is set. Now, every minute counts. Between October 8th and 18th, 2025, official NASA and European Space Agency protocols halted direct Earth-based observations of 3i slash Atlas as it passed behind the Sun, creating a documented data blackout. Historical records, including the 2014 C slash 2013 A1 sighting spring event, show that critical transient changes can occur during such conjunctions, sometimes escaping detection. Grassroots networks led by Bill Gray provided alternative monitoring, yet key high-resolution imaging and radar data remain suspended until after October 18th. NASA has confirmed that quick-look frames will be released within 48 hours of the conjunction's end, followed by raw archives for independent review. As of now, whether 3i slash Atlas experienced outgassing, fragmentation, or instrumental anomalies behind the sun remains unverified. This episode underscores the persistent challenge of solar conjunctions in planetary science, where even with global coordination, some evidence may be lost. The next round of data, scheduled for public release, will determine what truly happened during the blackout. <laughs>